today we're going to be doing, for the first time, homemade bacon. Look, I've ate a lot of bacon in my life, and some good bacon, bad bacon, but I've never made it myself before. So I'm going to find out, is it really worth the time and investment? Let's find out. Bacon! The overall process, not overly difficult to be honest. Grab yourself a pork belly, season it with some cure, and chuck it in the fridge for five days minimum. That's about it. There isn't much more than that. So what you're going to need for this, obviously the pork belly, a sharp knife to remove the skin, and you're going to need some kind of cure. That goes on there and you vacuum seal it or you can put it in a large sandwich bag. Either way, whatever you have available. I'm really looking forward to experimenting with the flavours. So obviously this is the first time I'm going to go with a previously bought Rob or Cure. Um, next time I might branch out and try some flavour combinations that I come up with myself. So I'm really looking forward to experimenting and trying with different flavours. Alright folks, here we have our two pork bellies, our bulletproof cure, and our Dr. J's cure. We're just going to grab a sharp knife, grab the corner of the pork belly, angle our knife upwards, and attempt to remove the skin. It always helps if you have a sharp knife, unfortunately I didn't have one here. When you apply cure, always follow the label instructions. So that means use the right quantity of cure and also leave it in the fridge for the recommended duration. Chuck it in to a vacuum seal bag, seal it up and chuck it in the fridge. When it's time, take it out of the fridge, give it a good wash and chuck it on your smoker until it hits 65 degrees Celsius internal. Look at that, lovely. Bacon. <laughs> Smoked bacon. Just like any good scientific experiment, we need a control. And today, we've got this store-bought bacon. Grab your homemade bacon, slice her up, and get it ready for the pan. All right, folks, it's time for the taste test. Let's start with the store-bought bacon. Pretty standard. Not overly salty. Still good. It's good bacon, actually. All right, up next, we're onto one of our cures. This is the Dr. J's. immediately more complex. There's just so many more things going on. Not overly salty, but absolutely enjoyable. Let's finish with the bulletproof. Again, so many different things going on. Not quite as good as the Dr. J's, but overall, it's better than store-bought bacon. All right, guys, I'm gonna go the other way. Let's start with this one. Mmm, juicy, bit thick. Mm. I think that was the bulletproof one. It was good. It's sweet, it's nice. And again, I like that thickness. Let's go to number two. This is the Dr. J's. Mm. Much more savory, less sweet, a lot of smoke flavor coming through. All right, number three, let's go that store bought bacon. Thank you, Mr. Don. Yeah, that ain't bad. 
but a bit bland, especially when you compare it to the first two. Yeah, that first bacon, that uh, bulletproof, that's definitely the one for me. So I think this was a great first test. Obviously, the cured bacons were better, um, but I would say only marginally. But let's keep in mind that these are pre-bought cures. I haven't tailored it to my own taste buds, so I think basically uh, the potential is limitless on what you can achieve, so absolutely worth it, and we'll be trying this again. So in terms of price, I think making it yourself is probably marginally more expensive. However, when you're looking for a, a quality product, that's okay, and I'm willing to pay that price. Look, I'm really looking forward to putting this bacon on a burger. I'm talking smash patty, pickle, cheese, brioche bun. It's gonna be lit. All right, Smoking Dagger fans, till next time. Catches them. Bacon. <laughs>